Hello, it's DLA, or rather, Outcast of Balaku now. I'm sure about two of you have been wondering what's become of me. Thus, I have a state of the channel update. Well, I'm very much alive, as you can tell, but you probably don't care about that. The question on everyone's mind regarding this channel is my sixth rate text commentary series on crappy game reviewers. Yeah, no more. Retired. In fact, there's really no reason to keep it around any longer. There was nobody left to dissect. Boring man's raised a white flag. Game Dunce became a rapey creep who had to flee Canada. And the angry reviewing is simply evaporated. Part of this can be attributed to burnout, part of changing tastes, and part of real life. As a result, the I Can't Believe It's Not ABGN videos are locked away. A handful of people complained about it, but in the long run, it was truly lost. In hindsight, the show started as a sloppily edited, unfunny mess, which evolved into a more watchable, but still bad sideshow, with errors out the pooper. Nobody really cared about the reviews on my blog, and my attempts to branch out into Let's Plays, and the retrospective on Mario didn't go anywhere. Speaking of which, the reason down the pipe was stopped was due to a combination of misplaced footage, a dead computer, and the fact that I couldn't figure out an appropriate enough send-off for that little gray box of could. It was only when I made that curtain call with Boring Man's Castlevania video that I came back. Though I had stated that it would be only a one-time thing, even though I teased at the end that there might, you know, be a continuation, but my heart just wasn't in it. The reason I've all but scrubbed Ikbenovgin from my channel is simple. I want to move on to bigger things. That's part one. Part two, real life happened. After graduating college, I was hit with a monstrous depression and struggled to find steady work. The economic situation and the fact that the world had started to go down the toilet at the time didn't help much either. Though I did have something going on that sort of helped ease the pain of my situation. After so much time mocking wannabe nerd clones, I decided that I wanted to create some material of my own. In my final semester of college, I had struggled to pass a particularly rough political theory course. Driven partly insane, I began to envision a story about a baby who became the world's first superhero, the marvelous Kimmy. While primarily written with children in mind, I wanted some cross-age appeal. I wanted to give the overall look to it a distinct 60s and 70s Showa anime look to it, inspired by such series as Astro Boy 63, Speed Racer, and Mazinger Z. It also has bits of Godzilla and Ultraman thrown in as well. Originally, it was written to keep my spirits up during a time when filling out job applications was a mental equivalent to getting scorpion venom injected in my blood after getting stung by one. It was completed early this year patented, and is currently on sale, but only in a digital format. If I were to sell soft covers right now, the price for a single copy would be $41.99 without profit. I am not making this up. Only three have been printed to date, two of which were gifts. If I can make a volume order, the minimum allowed being 10 copies, the base cost can be reduced. But as you can expect, I cannot do this alone. Because of personal demands, namely for food, insurance, and gas, among other things, I cannot use as much of my income on funding as I would like. Thus, I have set up a GoFundMe to help pay for print copies to be distributed among local schools and libraries. As much as I would love to have done a Kickstarter and give actual rewards to donors, I neither have the robust finances nor any ideas about what kinds of prizes to give. Not a single penny from the GoFundMe will be spent on myself, unlike one infamous idiot we know of. It all goes to the bulk order. I'm not expecting to set the world on fire, and I'm not so arrogant as to claim that I've revolutionized anything or that I could do something better than anyone else. There's no shortage of people who have said the latter and utterly failed. All I want to do is bring something positive to the table. So something uplifting. Because there's really enough sex and guns and drugs and the rest of that stuff that, you know, G4 like back in the day. That's all I have to say. The decision is yours.